the HBO series was quite interesting. It, it, of course, focused on John Adams and only introduced Abigail into his political world, which is quite different than my biography, which works the other way around by bringing John into the social realm. But uh, the HBO series was visually exquisite. I, 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 I marveled at what was able to, what they were able to do by um, the, with the accuracy of uh, portraying the 18th century world in which they lived. Some things about the liberties it took did bother me. Uh, one was the costuming. Abigail appears with a very low-cut dress. Abigail would have died before she showed cleavage. <laughs> Uh, that just was not anything that was going to happen in the 18th century, and particularly to Abigail, who was shocked when she saw, when she saw cleavage in France, uh, when she traveled to France later on. She always wore a scarf tucked into her dress, and it came up on her neck, and she, she would just not have costumed that way. Among the founders and the early presidents, John has been the least popular. Um, there are monuments to Washington, there are monuments to Jefferson, there are no monuments to John Adams. And I think that is because a mythology developed around Washington. Washington, the general on the white horse, and Jefferson, the, right, the author of the Declaration of Independence, and then no mythology developed around John Adams. And I hope that by popularizing Adams, a mythology will develop around Adams as a very honest man, and as a man unlike um, um, many of the men in, in his era who remained loyal in a marriage, which is what my book is about. I, I, I think the series was wonderful in that it popularized John Adams, and I am just so grateful because it now makes Adams both Adamses, John and Abigail, more familiar to us, and they deserve that.